here is one running before I adjust the chain. Chains adjusted. The power steering pump still makes a bit of noise. The belt squeaks a bit. But it's flappy now. It's sort of cold, but it's running pretty damn good for a XJ6 Series 1 at idle. It's always cough and fart a bit, but that's pretty good. And in gear, it's beautiful. Cool. Yeah, this engine's a Series 1 block that's now got a Series 3 head. It's had the arse shaved off it. Um, it's had all the retainers put in drilled and put grub screws in to hold all of the buckets in for the valves because sometimes when they get a bit hot the buckets lift and hit the cams it's done on both sides all the air injection ports have been blocked off that's for stupid environmental shit you don't need that on this it's got a handmade radiator cap because normally you've got the flat cap on these that always leak it's got all new belts AU Ford Falcon fan setup fitted. So good compressor, just needs hoses. Might as well put a new condenser on it and an auto cooler for the fun of it. Anyway, you know, it's uh, getting there until I've done the wiring. <laughs> so yeah, it's got all headlights and fans and one for the compressor, fuses, stainless steel expansion tank. Uh, oh yeah, all new hoses, heater tap, it works. Fuel lines. So, let's give it an oil change and it's all it needs. <laughs> oh yeah, and needs second gear band repaired. Yeah, good old car this is. Now, well, the next day, last night I cleaned up the engine bay and got all the leaves out of everything and made it nice um, and today I thought I'd just give a quick overview because I'm not sure if I ever showed the car and what condition it's in um, it needs a full respray <laughs> let's not kid anyone about that it's stuffed it's, it's got all four new tyres on it nothing special they're just uh, Dunlop SB Sport 300 E's they've got hubcaps they all need cleaning but they're all there. Um, needs this back part replaced, which is very common because it rusts out around there. Boot lid's got no rust, but just needs repainting. Uh, it's got all good lights on it. They haven't cracked up. Well, that one started to go since the last time I saw it, but no biggie. All these lenses are good. Everything works. Even that's good, which is rare as rocking horse shit to find a good one of those. It's, um, it's all there. That door's not shut, obviously. So it's got all new window seals in it. The interior's good. Oh, the bits that are in there at the moment. I've got the carpet out, because so I'm just making up some good floor mats for it, or underlay. The dash is in fairly reasonable condition. But I have got a mint one in the garage, like mint, just been redone, it's beautiful. It's, uh, yeah, all no, seats are good, not torn. Got to put some window winders on around the place. Back seats are good. No roof lining as of yet, but want to get the car painted. No door trim as of yet, but they're sitting on the roof of the car. So, the dash pad's good. But yeah, 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 I've got chrome for the front window seal. You can see they're good, they're still rubbery. 
Now I'm just got to replace one windscreen wiper. The gear is gone in this one. So just got to take the dash pad out to do that. So I've got all new ones of those. And yeah. Yeah, the air conditioning just needs hoses and I've got to, I'll put a brand new condenser in it and new receiver dryer. And that should work very well. But yeah, that's this old car. It's got carpet in the back. And the parcel shelf. It's got new wood, but it just needs to be covered. So, it's a bit of work to be done, but it's well worth it. Oh yeah, I've got the genuine Lucas washer bottle, which works. The old Smith aircon. You've just got to fold down, you know, pull it down, have a look inside there. So I put the handbrake on, take it out of the you know, park, put it down there, unscrew these, which is also as rare as rocking horse shit to find good ones now. Rocking horse shit is very rare. Don't come across it very often. Unscrew, 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 unscrew. We're just going involved. No, marvellous. Where is this still? Yeah. Map light doesn't work. So they need to be fixed, but that light up there should come on. And yeah, move these. Fold this silly thing down, and then push with your finger there. And there we go. It's even got the covers. You don't find that. I managed to find a set of covers. The wiring's been redone a little bit. Relay for the headlight. It's burnt out of the switches. I just love these old things. And of course all these switches, hazards. It does work. Oh you're gonna love that chaotic rear heated window. That's the interior light or map light, which doesn't appear to work at the moment. That's for the panel lights, dim or bright. That side light, low beam or parkers. That's high beam or low beam. Dip switch on the floor. You also have the flasher on the side there. Wipers, washer, heater fan, all that other rubbish. And fill paint left and right. So yeah, and this thing. It doesn't blow lots of air at you, but lots of air comes out everywhere. So it makes it cold. It needs a little bit more work. There's the actual coil and fan thing in there. So, yeah, they're a bit crappy. Cool. So see if this thing starts today. I'll just sit over here and turn the key, shall we? I think I need to be working the gas pedal for this. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah, I need to give it a rev, but... Yeah, it works. That's pretty damn good for rest of your carbies, no check. Well, let's get serious and start it properly. really does need some sort of choke or richening device as long as you're careful on the gas pedal and it'll keep running for you it sounds heaps better now I've done that chain
Kerl. Yeah. There's a good run on the freeway next and retune it. And a choke, of course. Oh yes, if you're wondering about radios, this is where one should go in this car. It's deep enough to put a modern CD player in there, unlike some older cars. And I've got a new control tap. That's that vacuum tap back there, so I can get this working. So that's good. Um, I've got a new faceplate as well, so if this has been cut too high for the old A-track that used to be in here, I can put that in. I've already wired everything up. So, I've got power, memory, and two speaker wires. So, yeah, it should come on nice. This knob up the top here is for fresh air on and off. Originally, there would be a little thing saying open and closed here, but someone's cut that out. But I have got the little tabs that go in. So, yeah, I've just got the thing down at the moment. Close that, you can see it better. And originally, when this wasn't here, originally there's just a shelf where you can put stuff like keys or coins. So, yeah, and here's what you control driver's side. See, at the floor, at the screen, and that's both. And uh, same thing over here. Bit weird, it says the mist in the middle, fascia and car. The car's actually floor and fascia's screen, from what I've worked out. So, a bit strange. But it comes out either up here, or down behind here. Yeah, I also have a wooden steering wheel for this old girl. Might put that back on. Who knows. And here's the front of the car. Minus showing the number plate, of course. But, um, got a bit of damage here that I believe a woman did. Like this when I first got the car. I've got a whole new front guard to put on this. So, that's all good. Um, needs to have halogens put in the centres. I've got all the chrome dress rings for everything, so that's all nice. It's got a beautiful grill in it, but it's missing the centrepiece, which I have right here in my hand. Which goes like so. But it's missing the actual picture of the cat. So something there needs to be done, but it has got the kitty on the bonnet. And it's going to replace that actual bulldog tooth or nudge bar <laughs> it's got a little bend in it they're all separate pieces these front bars all this unbolts and the rear bars are actually in three separate pieces you've got that side middle and then the other side plus those so they're quite fixable apart from that the car itself is pretty damn straight Shut the door. Nice and straight. And it's a short wheelbase as well. 